Genesis chapter 8 verse 22 While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Then chapter 9 verse 1 says, And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, my God. The word of God is very clear in chapter 8. It says, While the earth remaineth seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Beloved, there is something you should pay attention to in this very word of God. He says, As long as the earth remaineth, there are some things that cannot cease. There are some things that would not stop. There are some things that would not break. There are some things that will not fail. Because God have made a covenant. Because God have established and proclaimed something forth. That you must see that as long as these things are in existence, as long as these things are in place, my blessings must be in place. Now look at what God's word says. Then in chapter 9, he said, And God blessed them. As long as the earth remaineth, beloved, your blessings is sure. As long as this earth remain, this earth that we can plant and put investment in, there shall be a produce in your life that will cause you to rejoice. As long as Isaac sowed in that same land and he reaped a hundredfold, There is a blessing as long as the earth remains. There is a blessing as long as the channel of God is well put in place. And God's word is telling us today that the blessings of God will not cease in your life. As long as this earth remaineth, there are some things that will continually happen wonderfully for you. I want you to hold on to it and say, this is the word of God to me. As long as these systems are in place, I would not fail to receive my blessing. You see, Jeremiah 33 from verse 20 says, Thus said the Lord, if ye can break my covenant of the day. God made a covenant on that very day when he said, As long as the earth remaineth, these very things will not cease. God made a particular covenant. He says, And my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in their season. Then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant if somebody can come and stop the day from breaking if there is somebody on the face of the earth that would have the capacity to stop the night from falling i want you to know that then it means your blessings can be stopped i want you to know that something that you were supposed to receive from god can be withheld but as long as there is no one on the face of the earth that can stop the day from breaking forth as long as there is no one on the face of the earth that can stop the night from coming. I want to assure you, dear child of God, no one will be able to stop your blessings from coming in the name of Jesus. And God has never planned to break this covenant. He has never planned to stop it. And the word of God was made very clear. He says, as long as this earth remaineth, these very things will not cease. And I want to tell you what will not cease in your life genesis chapter 9 verse 1 made very clear and god blessed noah and his sons and said unto them be fruitful i want to tell you that as long as this earth remains your fruitfulness will not cease from coming as long as this earth remain every investment that you have made everything you have done with your hand every good work that you have found to do Dearly child of God, you shall have fruitfulness. It says as long as this earth remains, these things will not cease. And one of the things that will not cease is fruitfulness. And you should open your heart to God to be able to receive all of the blessings he will give. Be like Jesus. Be like that husband man that was spoken of in James chapter 5 verse 7. That the word of God says, Behold, the husband man waited for the precious fruit of the earth and had long patience for it until he received the early and later rain. 
Learn to have the ability to wait on God, to receive what is yours. When you have made investment, when you have planted, when you have sown, you have to wait to be able to receive. As long as this earth remaineth, it doesn't happen like magic. You will sow and you will wait for the appointed time to reap. And I want to tell you, as long as this earth remain, you would have the ability to wait and receive all of your blessings in the name of Jesus. It says, as long as this earth remaineth, multiplication will not cease. This is what it means. Multiplication will not cease. And you should know that things around your life will multiply. As God swore and established that God will give them increase in Psalms 107 verse 28, God will give you increase. It will give you multiplication beyond your wildest imagination because he has said, as long as the earth remain, these things will not cease. Your breakthrough, your breaking forth, your blessings, your multiplications will not cease. You will put a little in and by the blessings of the Lord it will multiply. These blessings of the Lord will amplify everything that you do and you will come to that point of testifying because God's word have made it so. It says as long as this earth remaineth, there shall be replenishings. Everything that ought to be replaced in your life. It will not cease. It must be replaced. You will not come to that point of experiencing a setback. You will not come to that point of experiencing a difficulty. You will not come to that point of experiencing a situation that you think nothing can be done about it. Have you experienced a loss? I want to tell you, you will recover. You will gain it back in the name of Jesus. As the word of God have said, that everything that has been stolen from you shall be restored. I am giving you this word of assurance today that as long as this earth remaineth, God will replenish everything that you may have lost, everything that may have slipped from your hands, everything that you may have missed, those opportunities, those things that you were not very careful to have kept, God will restore them. God will replenish them. That man who walked out of your life, as long as this earth remaineth, God will make such a man that would be very valuable to you to return, to come to you in the name of Jesus. God, who is a specialist in making replacement, will replace with the very best that will cause your heart to rejoice. As long as this earth remaineth, everything that will be beneficial to your life will come into your hands and i want you to be rest assured that god have made it as a form of covenant he says if no one can break his covenant with the day and the night if nobody can stop it from coming forth then nothing can stop you from receiving your blessings he made this covenant with david and said as long as nobody can stop these things my covenant will not be broken with david his servant. He says that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne with the Levite, the priest, my ministers. I want you to know that you would have everything that will bring you to your place of entrament. As long as this earth remaineth, the host of heaven will go out for you to see that you have received these blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. As long as you are considering the Lord in all that you are doing, I want to assure you that you will receive all the blessings. It may have stopped flowing. It may have stopped flowing for a season, but it will return. It will return in fullness. It will return in plenty. It will return in bounties. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will return in measures that you will not be able to comprehend. In the mighty name of Jesus, while the earth remaineth, the time of your harvest will surely come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, don't give up now. Don't give up on God because He knows what He is working out. So, your fruitfulness, your multiplication, your replenishings will not cease. It will not stop. It will come unending. It will keep flowing as long as this earth remaineth until Jesus comes. Until you check out, you will continually receive all of the blessings that God have destined for you. He had made a covenant and have said, as long as nobody can stop the day from breaking forth, 
as no one can stop the night from falling, is telling you today that every blessing that is supposed to be yours will come into your hands. As soon as you wake up in the morning, make a demand with this scripture, make a demand with this understanding and say, Father, the day I've broken forth, all that is not supposed to cease in my life, let them begin to come forth. As the day is breaking forth, tell the Lord everything that is supposed to be replaced in my life. I want to see it today and I want to assure you it will come. As the night is falling, you can tell the Lord, I don't want to see these things rise with me the next day. I want it to end perpetually and it will end immediately. Come to that point of making demands on this covenant of God and you will have a cause to testify all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. As long as the earth remains, these things will not cease. They will not cease in your life and you will keep receiving them. Bountifully, you will receive the blessings of God in measures that you will not be able to quantify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, dearly beloved. God bless you and shalom.